Amazon fees just went up again. Competition is fiercer than ever. Margins are smaller than ever. So if you're looking for some profitable ways to grow your reach on Amazon, then this video is for you. I've got a couple of quick hacks on how to do just that. Hi, my name is Matt Davis. I'm a senior brand manager here at My Amazon Guy. Let's dive right in. I'll share my screen with you here. Okay, so let's dive into campaign manager. So one of my favorite techniques for growing awareness cheaply is what I call a sponsored products auto gold pan campaign, which is just where you throw all your available products into one auto catch-all wide net, all four match types. So you're casting a very wide net, low relevancy by design, but you keep your bids very, very low, well below market value. And that allows you to generate a lot of awareness and traffic cheaply which will hopefully then lead you to some gold nuggets of targeting that you can then pull out, get in those manual exact campaigns or whatever keyword match type you prefer, and specifically target those winning nuggets that you already have a pretty good feeling are going to convert. So how do you do that? It's a sponsored product auto campaign. I'm already taking the liberty to sort of get into the campaign manager here to save time. You go create new sponsored product. We'll save time by not worrying about naming conventions for now. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to if it says ineligible, I'll leave it. If it's got one of these little things that the offer won't be delivered, I'll leave it. Right. But any place where there's an active product and it, they don't have to be related, just they all have to be for sale and available on an active listing. And that's it. Right. So you do this with every product in your catalog. Right. Because this is a demo, I'm just going to grab a few of these. Right. You want to make sure they're in stock. And they don't have any little warnings that say they're not going to be delivered, right? So let's just say that was the entire catalog. Automatic targeting, always set bids by targeting group. And now you can see based on what we've selected, Amazon is going to give you some suggested bids. Anybody who's watched any of my videos before or Steven's videos knows that I typically favor using the suggested bid as a good uh, sort of watermark to get you started. Not with these. You're going to throw that all the way out. Right. So depending on this might change depending on the category or the product or what the average bid is, but I'm going to typically start well below market value. So 15, 10, 5 and 2 is a common place I'll start. And as those of you guys know, two cents is actually the minimum Amazon bid. Right. Something like that. Don't worry about negatives. I'll start with dynamic down. Unless I, I could do dynamic up and down if I wanted to get really aggressive. Right. Typically start with a budget of at least $100 a day. Again, remember, budget's not how much you will spend. Look at budget on Amazon as max daily spend. Right. Just means what you will, what you could spend in a day, not what you will. Right. So maybe you portfolio this in a mixed product portfolio because it's all products and you go launch. I'm not actually going to do that right now because we already have an auto catch all set up for Steven's uh, account. But so that's how you would run that. And I've had some really great results with actually it generates a lot of sales um, in some cases, just because the cost per click ends up being stupid cheap, right? And so that's what you're hoping to do. You know, it's going to be low relevancy. You know, that search term report is going to be garbage in a lot of ways, right? Um, but it'll still clue you into where you're converting and it'll cast a net that's very wide. So it's like that old Romsfeld quote, you don't know what you don't know. This allows you to know what you don't know. You should always have an auto campaign going. Uh, the next thing I'll say is, um, what I call strike zone targeting, and I base that off of Amazon's, sorry, Stephen Pope's um, SEO strategy, right? So go to Helium or any data tool that you like, right? Plug in your ASIN. Um, it can be Jungle Scout, right? Helium is just the one we prefer and use. Um, do a Cerebro, right? So a keyword relevancy search, volume search based on the ASIN you care about, right? That will get you a whole bunch of returns on keywords that you potentially rank for that could be relevant to your product, right? You can sort based on all sorts of things. But what we're doing in this specific instance is we are looking at, um, so update for me, there we go. Uh, we're looking at the difference between the discrepancy between organic rank and sponsored rank. Why, right? We're looking for low cost ways, high probability ways to spend our marketing dollars because margins are so thin. Right. So if we already do really well for it organically, but there's a gap, this is a perfect example, right? We are third organically for dried sage for burning, but we're 34th and sponsored. 
right? So that tells me there that we already convert. I know we wouldn't be third organically if we didn't convert at a reasonable clip for that specific keyword, right? If we're 34th here, th that's probably just a, a lack of targeting, right? It probably just means that we haven't isolated and or focused on that specific long tail keyword enough yet. And there's probably sales to be had here, right? We can probably count on a pretty high conversion rate. So what I would do is I would just look at like what my top 20, 50, depends on how many you need before you get, you know, a reasonable amount of targets, right? And again, never more than five keywords in an individual campaign, right? Five keywords for any manual campaign at most, right? So as soon as you can find five or six good targets, there's a manual campaign, right? Like 70 to seven, right? There's a great chance that that's going to convert if I target it, right? Um, so places where you're trailing in sponsored rank, but doing really strongly in organic rank is another place. And then the last hack is you need to start looking at other metrics so you can effectively see a sense of how your reach is, right? Your, your sponsored strategy is all supposed to inform your overall reach and awareness on Amazon, i.e. your cost per acquisition and sale are supposed to go down because your organic reach, your organic brand awareness goes up. People don't need to see your ads as often to find you and make sales. They start doing branded search more for your specific brand. Bra, 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 bra. You get it, right? So to understand really how effective from that perspective, how efficient your marketing spend is, you need to understand cost per session, which is not something that Amazon's API just gives you off the bat, but it's pretty easy to find, right? So you go to your business reports, go to detail page sales and traffic, right? It's like the third option down. That'll give you your total sessions for a time period, right? Right now we're in the last 30 days. And then you can go and look at your total ad spend. Get rid of this. Then you can go to your total ad spend over that same time. Oops, sorry about that guys. Didn't mean to go to brand posts. Oh goodness. Sponsored ads. There we go. Come on. Come on. Here we are. Right. So then I would just pick select the same time window. And I think it was 13th to 13th, right? You get it. This is just a demonstration. And honestly, we would probably back out more than a couple of days. We'd probably give ourselves 72 hours for attribution. Right. So now I can see this is my total spend. Right. So I can look at that number, compare it to this number and get a cost per session, which session can mean different things in different contexts. It's, it's a set series of actions over a given period of time. In this case, it's page views. And typically I think it's 24 hours is the metric, right? But so it's, it's people looking at your product or brand or listing over a given period of time, right? So your spend compared to your sessions is going to, in that period of time, give you a sense of reach, right? So you can start looking at that and that will inform from a very macro level. Okay. If I need to watch every penny here, how effective is my ad strategy really at generating overall reach organic and sponsored on Amazon? So those are three quick tips to help you generate more sales, more reach, more awareness for cheap, hopefully profitably. My name is Matt. If you'd like to get me as your brand manager to manage your account or any coaching, you'd like any of our experts to help you out, visit us at myamazonguy.com, book a coaching call. Maybe you want to come work with us, hire us to represent you on Amazon. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much. We'll talk to you soon.